What's up? Hang on. Let me click this thing off before anyone. What's up? There we go. Oh, here it goes. Do you remember that? Uh, yes. Uh, Kel didn't want to participate in any of uh, any of Keenan's yeah. schemes, huh? He, he wasn't really game for a lot of the goings on, huh? Uh, interesting theme song references to Penn and Teller, Abbott and Costello. I was gonna say if there was ever a there's a hammer lock and it's that Rob knows the lyrics still to the Keenan and Bell <clears throat> theme. Of course. <clears throat> it's my favorite show for a while. It's a really good show. Or it was, I don't know. Uh, they had Bill Clinton in an episode. The real Bill oh. Clinton? Well, no, but the president, Keenan, saved him from a falling stack of cans, so he got to go to the White House. And, well, you know what happens when those two get put in a room together uh hi Keenan and Keenan and Kel yeah right <clears throat> um yeah that was a that was a fun program and uh what the fuck what is that noise why does it sound so fucking weird hold on does anyone else hear that <clears throat> something I'm doing somehow uh, I'm covered up Joe Tinker says, do you have any advice for surviving a wedding with a bunch of MAGA Southern Baptists this weekend? Uh, Object to the wedding. Could be funny. Do they still ask that? I don't know if they still ask that or not. <clears throat> I was in a wedding, and I don't think they asked. Oh, I see what the problem is. I'll tell you, they still go hard on that uh, subjugation of the woman thing. Yeah. Like, you are, like, make no mistake, miss, you are number two in this ordeal here. And I was, I was standing there as a groomsman, like, looking around, like, what the fuck is going on? Hope, uh, there's probably at least one photo of me making a weird face in that wedding. Weddings are pretty traditional. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a fan. Speaking of traditional. So, yeah? I didn't have anything on that. I was hoping maybe you would come in like locked and loaded. No, I, I'm, I got some new uh, bone bone stuff going on in the background here. Okay, well, let me get you on screen. Everything's all messed up on here now because. It's my bad. No, it's not. It's actually not this time. Can I tell you what's going on? Yeah. It's just sad. Can I finish? Can I finish? I can't finish. I don't know what that is. You don't know that one? Oh, hey, I thought of a good headline. Okay. Just I don't for know the if news? Used it. And, yeah, like for the new... news. Okay. Yeah. You know how Donald Trump met the president of Finland? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What if the, you could have the headline be this? Finnish president meets with finished president okay you're on to something there i think would that be in the real news yes okay damn hey golf watcher 99 there it is two <laughs> years 24 kidding. months he's gonna be president forever welcome back to the existence there's that bulge badge damn that is a good headline Thank um you. remember when jay leno would read headlines that was fun those are all fake, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Aren't those all fake? That sucks. Fake news, literally. Yeah, he started the whole thing, right? Uh, yeah, I believe he did. You're playing uh, the goose game right now. Well, but I don't remember how to play it is the big problem I'm having. Okay. Um, so you gotta you gotta have a picnic, and you gotta make. Okay, so you have to make the guy wear his hat. I hope there's no mm. ants there. Did I say that last time? No, I don't think you did. That is... Or if you did, I forgot. So yeah, you're running out of wine. Like the crumbles evable. Like uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go smoke something. Like a relative. Okay, a headless president. Uh, six months, five months in a row. Welcome back to the existence, my friend. Oh. Uh, yeah, you got it now. And golf watcher, thank you for the uh, one thousand bits. Thank you, golf watcher. Uh, celebrating 
two years. Welcome back. Now that's a celebration worth doing. Celebrating. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I think you sort of painted myself yourself. in a corner there. Yeah. 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 Good hey, thing Tori I'm not Crew. baby. <laughs> Nobody paints baby in a corner. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you didn't have to add the second part. But it's funnier if I I had I wish I had just said the second part yeah. instead of the no, first part. Yeah, I th I think you're you're back. You know. Yeah. You're back, baby. I'm a square. Uh, Tori Krug, 21 months. Welcome back to the existence. And Hambeard, 15 months in a row. Welcome back to the existence as well. Um, how's your day, Jesse? How's your? Uh, it's Thursday, right? How's your Thursday? It's Thursday. You know, I had um. I, I feel like I had an okay day. Lately, I've been marking my days or grading my days by my productivity level. Um, okay. And if I did that, today would not be like a great score. Uh, okay. I did not knock a lot of you want to Hey, out. you want a great score? Check out uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, yeah, actually. Yes. Like, it's, not a, it's not a joke. No, it's not. I mean, that's, no. that's legit. It's, just a, it's a great score. One of my favorite movies. Um, yeah. So I didn't uh, – no, we're probably not going to get into Destiny 2, my green, if I had to guess. I have Destiny 2. Uh, we'll have to reinstall it, but I like it. I don't think, I don't think it's a uh, – No. It's not a Jesse game. Any game where you can, you can describe the activity as grinding, I'm just like – A lot of grinding. Unless we're yeah. talking about Dance Floor Simulator. Oh, Apple Bottom Jeans. Oh, oh, oh. whatever. I Jesus. Afro Gunsu, I'm sorry to hear you had a bad day. Uh, we're, it's Thursday. It's almost the weekend. We're going to have uh, fun. I ignore the last 20 seconds of whatever Jesse was just doing. Oh. Awful. Unreal. Should I be using the controller for this instead of the keyboard? Is that what you were saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you have like a, like a steering wheel, you should be using that. Or... Uh, or like the the Donkey Kong bongo drums. I I, I would use a steering wheel except for it fly off when I drive it. Oh, there you go. yeah. Okay. Apple bottom jeans and the apple bottom jeans. Oh my god. I've not what? seen the show even that that is. But you've seen enough of the. I know what it is. Yeah, you've seen like the meme and everything. Ah, uh, I, yeah. I picked it up. Yeah. What oh, guillotine. Mean, what meme? The steering wheel flying <laughs> off guy. Uh, oh, you haven't seen that yet? Guillotine for Prez. No. I, I do know that Joey is on Cameo. Um, I'm very well aware of that because we ordered a Cameo from him for uh, a bonus uh, episode of Blocked Party that Jesse and Mike are on, where he apologizes to one of our... One of our listeners got really mad that we made a joke about uh, circumcision. Uh, and so we at decided least to one. Oh, sorry, sorry, at least one. At least one. Well, one guy sounded off in the Patreon comments, um, and was like, just genuinely very, very angry at us. But like, still, okay. So this is another thing. We we got the cameo from Joey. We asked Joey to apologize to this guy on our behalf about the circumcision jokes. Joey went off on like a two minute. I mean, I don't know how. I don't know how to describe. We could watch it on the stream right now. You know, it's it, the episode's been out long enough. I feel like we can give you guys a taste. Um, yeah. But I, my whole thinking was like, okay, well, the guy definitely unsubscribed to the Patreon uh, <laughs> after after getting mad at us. Uh, and then I found out on the episode as I was announcing, here's our next cameo. It's Joey apologizing uh, that he still subscribes uh, and uh, likes and comments on like every episode. We haven't heard back from him. Uh, maybe since uh, this one. Uh, and thank you. I don't know if I they're in the chair right now, but someone got us a uh, John Taffer cameo this morning. Bad Wooch. Uh, 14 months. Welcome Sorry, back. Go ahead. Just, we got a John Taffer cameo. That was uh, good. Yeah, that was good. That was very good. That was a very good one. Taffer's, a, Taffer's worth it for the cameo, I think. That was a great cameo. Is that is this is the game audio coming through? I feel like I'm losing my heard, flipping shit. No, no, no. I I heard a, I heard a goose honk. I did hear a couple goose honks. But if you heard it, you mean you're watching the stream? No, no, no. I heard it. I I heard a couple goose honks. Just okay. I don't know. Because I, I think it was coming through my speakers. Okay, we're back now. Coming through your speakers, Jesus! I've heard of uh, being an, an audiophile, but 
Oh, yes, Bottom. dude. Oh, yeah. the apple bottom jeans, and they are some jeans. I love it, dude. Yes. What is there a new? Is there a Twitch language filter? Like we've had, there's there's sort of has the filter gotten like unbelievable for the 250 bets. People are saying they can't. Uh, okay, fart hammer. I saw your circumcision joke. Yeah, we get to a million dollars a month on Block Party Patreon. I am going to get circumcised. And, uh, that's oh, true. Time. Oh shit! All my so. shit's gone. Okay. Yeah, Have a but uh, thank you to to everyone who donated to help us get over our, our most recent goal, uh, which which brought us uh, to. So John is gonna have to smoke weed for the first time ever, uh, and we are going to be doing a video episode uh, where myself and Chris James um, help him get high for the first time. And the next goal after that, he's never eaten a Big Mac before, which is mm -hmm. more insane than the weed thing to me. Uh, and he will, uh, well, the, the, the both of us and producer Dan will, um, go to McDonald's, uh, and do a peep this out style video review of, of a Big Mac, of him eating a Big Mac for the first time. So, yeah. Can I be the $20,000 goal? To be on an episode? I mean, we've, we've tried to get you on, I think three times now. We don't, I don't know if we need a goal. You can just come on. Hmm. Or will we eat you? Are you saying? What? De ne never mind. Eat me. Because that. Because oh. of the. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what were you saying? <clears throat> Nothing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send out a tweet about the game because I don't think anyone has done that yet. So I will. Not to shame you guys or anything. I, know uh, you guys I was busy. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. Uh, what should I, what should I say? What are you gonna do on the stream tonight, All right. guys? Twenty thousand dollars. Let's do it. Like Rob, I, we, you could just come on the podcast. Well, it's really fun this way. I, I mean, I would like twenty thousand dollars a month. That would be very nice. Why? Mm. It would be cool, I think, to have that, right? I don't know. I was wondering about that too. Jesse, do you did you those are mic stands, I assume, but they do sort of look like Oh yeah, I guess they do look like They do kind of look like dildos. Insertions. Oh we do need piss. Yeah, we you know what we do need an action zone, I think, right? Hey. I think you don't make this. Hey. Uh, did you see did you see uh, Did you see Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett that touchdown? Oh, I didn't even know the fucking game was on. It was insane. Uh, I, I don't know how. Oh. He, I don't know how he caught it. I don't know how he made that throw. Oh, fuck! It's October, right? It's, it's horror movie month. I'm gonna go see a horror movie on Friday. I'm gonna go see the Lodge. You're gonna go see the. Okay, so I I went too Ooh. fast there. You can. What were you gonna say, Jesse? Well, can I even the talk? Lodge. Yeah, yeah. I saw that at a film festival. That's right. I'm seeing it at a film festival also. That's gonna be good. Oh, well, la di da I mean, you live in Los Angeles, Rob, where every movie comes out very early. Yes, that's true. You, I you saw, saw Parasite. You saw Parasite uh, like a month like, ago. Yeah, I can't even remember what happens. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, please go see Parasite, everyone, when it comes out. Yeah. Uh, it's incredible. It's the best movie I've seen this year. Ooh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go see Joker when the crowd thins out. I'm not taking any chances. I just don't have any desire to see that movie. <laughs> Does not look very. Uh, doesn't look very good. I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks uh, awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I just. Walking Phoenix is cool. Yeah, but. Whatever. It just does not look. I'm excited. I don't know. I <laughs> I get glasses, new glasses, in seven to ten days, and then I'm gonna see that. You lost your glasses, didn't you? No, they fell off my fucking neck. Very After similar. Neck two. It too. What? Why were they around? The last too? thing I saw with glasses. Why were they around oh. your neck? Because Do you have a neck? I don't. I don't like wearing them on my face. Otherwise. What? Why were they? How were they on your neck? I'm trying to picture. Did you have a like a necklace? I, I have them on the like back of my neck. What? They're 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 mostly clear, so it it doesn't look too dumb. But you lost them because of that. Yes. 
I, I was I was probably really into a song or something. I do that a lot. I was probably getting my groove on. Yeah, you have you seen Saturday Night Fever? I mean, you can wear headphones. I, I do glasses. that shit like constantly. But okay, so let me here. You could do this. I, I enjoy my life. Huh? You can do you can do this with glasses too. You can do the the old fold and and put them here. You know, I mean. That's a good move. Yeah. Oh, that's on the collar. I know, like, because I know you just got glasses for the first time, like, late last year, right? Uh, last summer, yes. So... I had no idea that I had never seen a movie, clearly. Ever. You should look into contact lenses as well. Contact lenses no. are very good. No, no, those, no, those seem like a hassle. I don't uh, feel like undertaking. There's, so there's also this. You know, up on on the forehead. Well, they fell off there, but like this, right? Right. <clears throat> so that feels weird to me. I'm just so. How did you so like like this on okay. your neck? Like draping okay. them on your neck well, like this? I show you, but I don't have glasses right now. But around the back of your neck. So the the lenses are on the back of your neck. Uh, yes. Like this. So they can get yes. nice and, uh, greasy. Okay. That's... Well, your hair isn't gonna exactly... But, but, it when, it's, but when it's on top clean. of your head, it's a lot easier to keep track of. <clears throat> well, bl Derek's the one who recommended it. Blame Derek. That's a Derek thing? Derek's Wait. the one who told me... Does Derek have glasses? Do the back of the neck. Derek does have glasses. It's he does Derek's have glasses. fault, and I told him that he should pay for my new glasses. But <laughs> I mean, the other thing. So the other, yeah, the, here here are the two that I would suggest. Rob would be would be this right here. So in the collar here, or if you have a pocket on your shirt, you do that. The pocket on the yeah. shirt I think is the best one. I if you, not every, not every shirt has a pocket. Pockets. So. Yeah. Oh, here's some bullshit. Okay, we have these awesome washer and dryers. They're operated by an app. You pay with your phone. It's okay, so I've easy, seen, no quarters. It sends yeah. you a notification when it's done. It's awesome. I like Well, those. they yanked all of those out today and put in their place like fucking industrial washing machines. Like, they look like they were designed for kitchens but okay but how are they are they coin operated now yes oh that's a i mean the industrial ones i don't mind because i've i've stopped two neighbors today and and, and complained about this i'm trying to get an uprising going because this is some <laughs> fucking bullshit man. that is no that is bullshit like that's that is a downgrade i'm paying like, I will an exorbitant say, amount of money to fucking live here i i like the industrial washer uh, like if, if at my at my old place, um, like four years ago, there was a laundromat right across the street, and they had like industrial washer dryers, and the dry the dryers would take like ten minutes, you know. Oh, that can't be good for the clothes. I mean, it would just it would just bake them basically. Um, uh, these but look it would, shitty. It would get the job done, but uh, like. Yeah, I think going from the because the app sounds very nice, and I it like is. the it tells you when they're done. I really like that. Yeah, that's very nice. Um, it going from that to coin operated some deal with the app. Company. That, has, that it was either that or they just weren't it's making nice. enough money on it. Maybe I I, I don't know what. It, <sighs> I guess stupid man. Oh man, I gotta go get quarters tomorrow. That sucks. That sucks ass. You guys still do uh, walk uh, almost a mile from the bank with quarters. You guys still have uh, pennies, right? You guys still do pennies down there? Oh yeah, we love them. Yeah, you, you guys gotta get off. You guys gotta get off pennies. Uh, no good. Yeah, I see them all the time. The get off. Around. I haven't seen. Like, oh. I mean, I've, I've seen pennies when I've been in in. Someone in else. US. Yeah. I have, hey, I have not seen a Canadian penny in, I mean, since they got rid of them, basically. Bro kick. Mm. 20, there it is, 24 months in a row. 
Get that there bulge badge. Welcome back to the Edges. It's two years. Yeah, I think he's at the picnic right now, Jesse. Because I, th I think he heard the radio. You almost want to do the radio <laughs> last. I think we should all throw pennies away. I'm going to throw all my pennies away. They're, they are just trash. Like, when have you ever used a penny? Like, there's nothing you would ever use a penny for, right? Like, oh, wait. No, no. Yeah. I need to, uh, yeah. I need to destroy them. Did you do them. it, Jesse? Can you, can you melt pennies? You know what? You, can, you, you could go to the... Uh, Hey, old wrinkled balls. Ten months. Welcome back to the existence. Hey, old friend. wrinkled balls. Hey, old wrinkled balls. Might want to iron those things, you know? Um, throw them in an industrial dryer. There you go. Zednot, 20 months. Welcome back to the existence, Zednot. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I was going to say uh, those, those like, penny flattening things. You, you turn the crank oh, and then... Oh, smash penny. Right? You oh, know? smash penny. <laughs> or <laughs> smash penny. Or, yeah, I'm Jammer Danny's got to put it on uh, some train tracks. Well, I don't know anything about politics, but let me ask you this. <laughs> hey, How many Smash Pennies have you seen in one place at one time? Less than 12? <laughs> hey, Goat's Head, uh, I, I, bit. I know. I, like, we, we've we sort of been ignoring this. Jesse is, is killing the game right now. You're doing great. Oh my great. god, I got a knife. What? The goose has a knife? The no, goose. that's a that's a trowel, isn't it? No, this is a knife. That's a trowel, I think. No, this is a knife. Ah! You know. uh -huh. uh, we missed a sub here from. Hold on a second. Uh, Ghibli that? Stevens. There we go. Ghibli Stevens. Three, Three months. Three months. Welcome back to. Yeah. I agree. That's a good opinion about Atlantic City. <laughs> what is it? That the band does a better version than, than Bruce Springsteen. You're just gonna get mad at everything I just said there, but all that sucks. I don't want to hear any yeah. of that crap. Yeah. <laughs> so, I th yeah. I mean, okay. Has he has he just taken your your picnic down basically? Yeah, but who cares? I got the thing. Oh, did you actually? Okay, so you got it. That's fine then. I need to ha make uh, him hammer his thumb, and I also need to make him wear his sun hat. Okay, the sun hat one. Oh, I don't. But I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it for you. I there's one. There's one. Hard, there's a hard way to do it, and there's a very easy way to do it. Well, here's the hammer, so... Oh, but he's... Uh, okay, so with... Okay, the hammer one is my favorite. The hammer one's very funny. You you missed an uh, opportunity there, I think... Uh, gotta pee. I think you can... Yeah, I think you can make him hammer something again. I'll just say that. That may have just been hammered in. I love when uh, when he picks something up and you still hold on to it. Yeah. Is there any <laughs> is there any reason to have your wings out other than just to look sassy? It just look you look sassy and you can well I think some people you can sort of scare when you do that. Yeah. Like you're gonna you're about to get to the village and you're about to get to the the kid who looks like me and I am gonna go as the kid for Halloween this year everyone I've already decided. Okay, this is the best part. <laughs> I love your uh, gaming face right now. Ah, I got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, okay, get, get the hat, get the hat. What hat? Grab his hat. Oh, oh, when he was laying down? Yeah, but there's another, there's another easy way to do it. There's another very easy way to get his hat. Can I just make him fall down again? I mean, you could just make him fall down again, yeah. Just be ready to grab his hat. I would almost go to the other side so when he falls, he falls towards you, you know? Ah! Okay. Yeah. I think you want to be waiting in there so then he sort of falls. Oh, oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> yes! I love this. This is fun. Yeah. You're good at this game, dude. I like being a pest. That's so. That's a different way to get the hat. The way I got the hat is, you take, uh, you steal the rose, and then he'll squat down to like replant the rose. And when he squatted down, it's at like the perfect level to grab his hat. That's smart. Mm. Yeah. Downtown. Yeah, there are some hidden achievements. I think. Like one of them is locking him out of the garden, and it's not actually listed there. It's 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 a hidden one. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. 
He got his ass. He had to switch his hat. Yep. Oh, and now it gets good. Now it gets really good. Oh, Cooking Dave. I didn't know that one. Okay, so you're in the you're in the village proper now, and yeah, we are gonna we're gonna see Stefan. You're gonna see Stefan <gasps> coming up pretty soon. Look. Yeah. I was coming in hot with something else tonight. I can't remember what it is. I was coming in hot. This is uh, I'm I'm, I'm going as washing the, machine and uh, I'm going as this guy for Halloween. So I'm gonna get the the rugby shirt, the. The cartoon glasses. I'll get. I'll make my nose red. I'll get a little toy airplane. Mm. I'm going as the Mueller report. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that gonna be? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I fucking already hate anybody who does that, though. Oh, dude. Awful. Man. I remember someone seeing someone as Hillary's emails uh, bef oh. back in Kentucky before I left. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I walked by yeah, uh, right. here at Halloween store the other day and just so many Trump masks. And oh, it's just, you just God. can't do that. You can't do that as a costume. We all wear a mask, really. <laughs> oh my God. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Uh, what should I say you're doing right now on the stream, Jesse? Uh, I don't know. What's a good thing to do? You're whacking off. I don't think you can say that. Okay. Oh, that lady's got a broom. Run. I think the goose is faster than the kid, but not faster than. Uh, and he's also scared of you too if you honk. Yeah. He freaks out. Oh, Napologist, that's good. Come take a gander at JF playing the goose game. That's really smart. Now, what is a gander? Um, it's a male goose, I think, right? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm pretty it's sure. It's not like a gopher? No, it's a bird. Oh, wow. What a perfect throw. Wilson is so good. Hmm. That, that, don't, Tell that, to uh, that don't sit well with me. You thought who, it was a gopher? Who, who, <laughs> yeah, who do I write to about this place? Like, a, a biologist 300 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I think, maybe? Zany Antics, uh, Jesse is playing right now. Why don't they just call that a goose? Also, a male goose. How about a moose? A male goose. Well, we've, then what are we gonna call problem. a moose? You're too smart for your own good. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna. I'm googling this. Jesse, I'm surprised you're not watching uh, the Nashville game. They're they're playing tonight. What soccer? Okay. Actually, wait, are they? I think they are playing tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I didn't. Uh, refer I, specifically to a male one. Yes, there you go. I didn't watch the uh, Canucks game last night, and I, I feel hmm. great. It's really nice. I think, I think I might actually be able to pull off not caring about them at all this year. And you I'm, said you I'm think really you might excited. actually be able to pull off? No. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just watch hockey in general. Like I watched some games, but I, I like I just don't care. I think it's finally, it's yes. finally happened. I love Welcome. it. Welcome. Well, I still like sports, but oh. I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not as. I don't live or die by by how the the Canucks do. Oh, there's a <clears throat> okay. One of the one of your goals here, Jesse, is to appear on TV, and it's the I think it's the funniest thing you can do in the game. I pretended to care about Kentucky basketball, but really, I didn't give a shit. So, you didn't actually go to Kentucky, but did your college just cheer for Kentucky anyway? Well, we cheered for our 
tiny little basketball team. We had Kenneth Fareed. I oh. whipped his ass in beer pong. What? Oh, I think you've told me about this. Yeah, fuck. That rocks. Jesse, you should honk into the bottle. It's like a silencer. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now is your ch okay. Now is your chance to go into the store. Damn it! No, no, you're oh, wow. you're good. You'll still get that was stupid, huh? I no, I like beer pong. It's fun. I miss beer pong. Uh, it was. Uh, I took it too seriously. Yeah, I took it very seriously, but but I I I enjoyed playing beer pong. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> This is the funniest thing you can do in the game, I think. I'm so cute. Especially, especially when they, they chase you out. I was the guy going, <laughs> waiting for a song to drop. I was that guy. Show I me. was uh, I was very specific. People about are the watching. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, I was a big rule guy. Saying. Jesse, I'm assuming you weren't a very big uh, beer pong guy. Never played beer pong. Yeah. Just wow, knowing really? what I know, what I, knowing what I know about Jesse and not going to parties, I sort of I assumed. He... Have you played it before? <laughs> no. Okay. Down ten. Yeah, that's that's maybe the coolest aspect of this game is that as soon as you start doing mischief in the game, the piano right. will play. And I kind of want to have that. Uh, uh, because I'm gonna for the Halloween costume, I'm gonna have a, a goose like tied to me, chasing me, and so I'm gonna have snippets of the of the song, and I'll like play it on and off. And I'm I'm very I'm I'm planning out my my costume this year. I think it's gonna be good. That's cool. You're gonna be 32 years old. No, I'm I'm 30 actually. Yeah. Mm. So. See, flip cup. I wasn't. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Go ahead. No, people in the chat are just saying Flip Cup is better. I, I like beer pong better. The game I did, I really liked was um, NHL uh, or just hockey, which was a uh, you would spin a quarter and try and flick it. You'd be sitting around in a circle, you try and flick it at someone else's like cup or whatever. It was that was a fun one. <laughs> nice. All right, Jesse. Get that. Yeah. Get his shoes. I'm going as Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Doing the clapping? <laughs> yes. L yes. Lucille Bluth. <laughs> Ener <laughs> Lucille Bluth energy. You know Lucille Bluth. Oh, yeah. Nice lady. <laughs> Nicely done, Jesse. Got him. Got that kid's ass. Now, do you have to... You have to give him more glasses, right? You have to give him different glasses? Yeah, I don't see any, though. Well, someone else has to just have glasses, right? I don't know. She there's got to be... Uh, what about in the... There's, like, jewelry up there, right? Is, are there... Right? There's got to be... There's got to be glasses around there. Oh, yeah, I see. The store. These. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. There you go, you little turd. Your Google Home set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Oh. I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> Whose was that? Was that was like... Jesse's, I think. Yeah. What? How did that? Oh, ha how did that happen? I don't know. I think it just says it every now and then. <laughs> Be careful what you say. It's listening, man. How do I break the broom? I'm not really sure about that. Uh, grab onto the broom. Just hold on to it. Hold on to like the the end of the broom. Yeah. And then. Oh, oh okay. okay. It's cold. Let, uh, like, drag it over, and then the lady will, like, grab the end of the broom. Ooh. And if you hold the end, it'll, like, it'll, it'll fall off. The goose doesn't shit, Howl. And can I say, have you guys heard Howl's new song? Uh... Illegal? It's incredible. Everyone go give it a listen. I heard the whole album. I mean. a casket. There's a, the music video is very, very good. It's so good. Okay, 
Okay, I'm sending out the tweet now. I haven't done it yet. I'm just gonna say wow. you're gonna have diarrhea live on the stream. What? <clears throat> what? Jesse's gonna shit himself on the stream. Oh. Damn, what I do with that airplane? I... There it goes. You gonna mention the goose game? Uh, no. Oh. I think the diarrhea is maybe a better... Because the goose game's been out for like two weeks now, you know? I see. Diarrhea so, is think... new and fresh. <laughs> exactly. I legit, like the diarrhea I had on Monday was unreal. It was just like a pressure washer coming out of my ass. Well, how long did you spend making that diarrhea? That that diarrhea? I mean, I was on the toilet like all morning. It was mm. it was not good. It was really really bad. Do you film any of it? My, I did there at one point. I did consider taking a picture of the toilet bowl because of how um, what horrible it was. And I was gonna post it in the group chat. Uh, and then perfect I thought bowel movements on this and always champion. I well, that's the thing is I was bragging about it like the day before about how I hadn't had diarrhea in like six months and then I had the worst diarrhea of my entire life. Now that I don't drink anymore, especially. Can I just say how funny it is that I posted the diarrhea tweet like 20 seconds ago and Oliver immediately showed up in all caps and said, did Jesse have diarrhea yet? God damn it. Mm. Not yet, not yet, Oliver. He Everyone's just, very excited now. He just took it from the store. I thought he would buy it from the store. That's what I thought too. This is, this is, yeah, I haven't gotten any further than this, so. I wonder, maybe she has to put a price tag on it, I think. So I think if you put it on the, 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 you have to put it on the shelf where she's, uh, where she's pricing stuff maybe, right? Or maybe she has to see it, yeah. Royce the Voice has a, has a good suggestion. Put the plane in the guy's ass. That could work. Yeah. <clears throat> Remember when that airline tweeted out the photo? <laughs> Yeah, was um, it American Airlines? A lady with a toy yeah. plane in her. Uh, Pussy? In her, yeah. And that, Yeah, it was like a reply to someone where it was like, sorry about your uh, bad experience with us. <laughs> and then that picture. How could we make it worse? I feel like someone wrote an article where they figured out how that happened. And I'm going to see if I can find that article. Because it was like pretty in-depth. They figured out exactly what happened. I, uh, that was 18 years ago, I think. Yeah. I want to say Ashley Feinberg wrote that, because that seems like a very Ashley Feinberg. Oh, she's cool. She's, she's great. Ugh. Okay, what's this goose up to you right now? Oh, see, she sees your shopping basket, though. I know. You gotta like, you gotta have the shopping basket like away from her and then just bring all the stuff over one at a time, maybe. You are, you're, you're gonna have diarrhea, right? Can you just say that just so people know? No, I'm not. I tweeted that you were. Well, you lie about stuff. I don't know. Uh, what would have happened uh, if you tweeted that I had diarrhea? That might get more because I think people will expect the diarrhea from Jesse and from me, right? but not from not from mm. you. Well, I said me as well. Okay. Well, please don't do that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Emgo Dad. We haven't heard this sound alert in a while, Jesse. No, that's nice. Hey, Kaylee. Damn it. That's okay. That's what it was. Mars, thank you. That's right. What? According to a spokesperson for the company, U.S. Airways was attempting to flag an inappropriate tweet that contained the graphic image. In doing so, uh, the URL was copied as well, and then the graphic image was inadvertently pasted into a tweet sent to another user. Well, the two oh. tweets were live. They actually linked to one another. So, hmm. yeah. Why do you think she had the plane there? She was pleasuring herself, I think, with it. Oh. Yeah. Was it was it just for camera 
You think anyone was supposed to see that photo? I mean, I, at least one person was supposed to see that photo, I think. Yeah, me. Hmm. Sari Giant fell 23 months, one month away from that bulge patch. Welcome back to the Ed Sistance. I gotta say pleasure. Line. Goat Set says don't say pleasure, Stefan. Can we get a pleasure, Stefan, Twitter. going in the chat? Plain. <laughs> Big Crux, that's good. I'm not Vagina. gonna say that out loud. Off <laughs> US Airways. 2014. Wow. There was also the other the other one where old uh, like verified accounts, uh, like their old Twitter pictures that they were tweeting out, uh, would get replaced with like weird images. Uh, because I guess they just would eventually get replaced. You know what I mean? Do you remember that happened? I think it happened with like uh, the Chicago Cubs. I don't remember that. Um, and it, they had never they tweeted out a normal picture originally in like 2009 or something, and then. Uh, it got like replaced with something nasty. Huh. I don't remember. Uh, that. Oh, this is this is off-putting. Massacre. Yeah, fifteen months. I don't Welcome back to the like answer. what I'm looking at here. Thank you, Daniel Trejo. Yeah, E1 was a lot of fun. Go listen to she, the E1 hundredth episode. It's very funny. She, Four and a half uh, hours long. Hey, she, thanks she, for the I think it's funny, the idea of a plane crashing. Is the idea that it crashed? I didn't, yeah, I didn't pick up on that. I feel like well, she's, just, she's trying to, like, nut it's, off. It, it's right? stuck in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's hmm. stuck. Yeah. Hey, Jackson Tersley, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the existence. Thank you. Yes, yeah, the plane yeah. inside the. Mm. Hey, it was. Uh, it's the plane from Lost. Remember yeah. that show? Yeah. The plane from Lost. You're right. Yeah. Now, what do you think that show was about? Um. Was it all for that Weezer album cover? I mean, what Weezer album cover? Hurley. Oh, right, yeah, okay. I was thinking the Blue Album. Uh, they're in, like, Purgatory or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like Lost. Lost was fun. It was very, it was very, it. It was very stupid, but it was fun. I liked Saw it. the first episode, loved it. Didn't watch another episode. You should watch it. Watch it. It's, it's good. Uh, no thanks. Haven't seen all the trees yet. Lost was really fun. I'm in the trees show. right now. Like Scroll. seeing them, seeing them like in person. Yeah. Okay. All right. Love trees. I mean, L.A. There's not that many different trees there, right? Well, there's all kinds of trees. You just kind of yeah. know where to look for them. Okay. Oh. Hey. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Oh, weird. Say hello. We're doing yoga next week, too. So. Wow. We'll be ready for some more gamer yoga on Thursday, right? Because you're, you're gone Tuesday and Wednesday, Jesse? Yes. Okay. Oh. So, Thursday, Thursday yoga. We got the Bluetooth mic ready to go. Dooley dooley, 20 months, welcome back to the existence. Oh, what was this? Oh, look, you're supposed to get one of those. No, you don't, no. It's for Irene, <clears> so she can, when she's doing yoga in, in the other room, she'll have like a mic for it. I see. Yeah. Kona, I thank you so much for the bits. I'm not going to count those. There's, there's a lot of bits there. Thank you. My therapist uh, told me to sign up for a boxing class. Boxing is very good for you, as long as you're not, like, getting hit in the head. If you're just, like, Man, punch, I... punching a punching bag, it's, like, very, very good for you. I think hmm. you'd like it. I've, I've never, uh, I don't like hitting anyone. You, you're, but you wouldn't have to hit anyone, you could just be hitting a, a punching bag. Like Stefan. Okay. All right. 
I feel like I feel like it'd be I think you'd be good at it. I think you'd enjoy it. Okay. Might as well downloaded something called uh, Might as well. Minus well. <laughs> Minus whale. <laughs> uh, class pass. Are you familiar with that app? No. Is that where you can go to like different like It shows you gym all the and stuff? Yeah, all the yoga and boxing and crossfit and all that shit around you. Okay. Hibachi ball, I'll see what I can do. Let me see what they got here. We got uh, our, our soccer team, Barcelona, got bumped up to the next division this, uh, this season. No, 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 this is not, it's not good. Whoa! Because um, we, we won last season in, in our lower division, and then we got bumped up, and we lost our first four games. Um, not by, like, a, like it was 3-2, 5-3. Like, they weren't beat Yeah, downs. but enough about all of your heights this year. Oh, oh my goodness. Fuck. These are all... It's just yoga classes. There's nothing but yoga classes around here. That's what's up, folks. I can't go to a yoga class. Ladies and gentlemen, we got... Slice of the stream. That's a slice, that's right. That's a slice. Oh, it's a slice. Oh, hello. Where are we at now? Let's see. We are now... No, I'm just... I, I do not bend well. Well, I guess that would be the purpose of going to a yoga class. Okay. Maybe I'll go to a yoga class. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah, I could, uh, I could beat the hell out of a punching bag. Sure. Racquetball, that's fun. The goose but it has feels to get a classist. Judo. Okay. No, thank you. I took enough falls as a young man. I know how to fall. Ooh, I'm a little Good. fancy man with my pipe. I will absolutely never become an MMA guy. No. That stuff scares me. Why are you fighting, right? What? It's like, do they, there's no narrative. There's no real reason they're fighting in MMA. Yeah, it's not scripted, yeah. Uh oh. Well, it would be nice if, like, who's an MMA fighter? I don't know. You don't know any MMA fighters? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, George St. Pierre. Okay. How about that? Okay. So what if George St. Pierre stepped on, uh, BJ Penn's new shoes and smudged them and they scrapped? Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Kind of like the way wrestling does it. But wrestling's storylines are kind of dumb. Yeah. So I guess it would just be like wrestling in that case. No, these guys would actually... It, it would only be fake in the... Uh, the storylines the fighting would be very real okay okay 
That's interesting. Hey. Oh, I didn't know you were listening. 23 months. Welcome back to the existence. One month away from that bulge badge. Good to see you again. Uh, so you're, what are you playing now, Jesse? <clears throat> Just not going to answer me. Yeah, I'm busy. What are you playing? Nick Diaz, that's one. Well, like, so you're talking about just more storylines, right? And I, I've like seen enough bar fights <laughs> to like I I have a ta- I want to know what went down that caused these two to get into it. Money. Nashville's losing 2-1 yeah, to Minnesota right now. I don't Jesse. like that. Just, just see. So Thanks. That's... We got, uh... Damn, this shit loud. What do we got? What do we got? What do we, we got? got? A, we got a Konami game. Very loud. Hey, uh, the, enter the Konami code. Yeah. You're not wrong. Genki Sudo. What is this? Uh, what is this game called? Hold up. Japanese politicians. Constitution of the Okay, I'm going to go to the simple version of Wikipedia. A real life bear. That's good. In response to my Konami code reference, Jesse, he said. Up, down, up, down, funk. Mm. Yeah. That's good. That's, That's smart. Very good. That's very smart. Hey, thanks mm. for the sub. That is smart, dude. Thank thank you, Swapping Spit. That's 24 months. Welcome back to the Ed Distance. Yep. I think it's just the lighting. Two months. Get that bulge badge. Did somebody say you're hot? Because you are. <clears throat> no, I, it looks like I have the old filter on or something. Well, you look hot, so. I think it's my glasses, probably. Ugh. Uh, okay, let's that, see. That's right, Timbonic. Code Vein. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, this wow. Is, oh, we're, 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 okay. do, we're, we're doing well, considering we're competing with the Joker movie right now. It's, you got to see this movie and, like, get it out of your system or something. Yeah. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Yes. I what? muted the term. I muted the term Joker on the timeline because it was the most annoying shit in the world. When have I brought it up? The Joker movie, dude. Go you brought it up like three leader. times tonight. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, and then yesterday it was also like three or four times you were talking about the Joker. You re- you got to see it. You just need to see it and just get over it and just blast it out of there. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> that's okay. That's really neither here nor there. So, uh, this is uh, so this is a bounty we got for Code Vein. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tracking that now. So we got an hour of Code Vein here. So everybody chill out. We're gonna Kurt Code Vein. Kurt Code Vein, and we're not allowed to say Kurt Code Vein. It says. Oh, did they so, specifically say we couldn't say, say, say that? Please don't say that. That's the one thing they said. Oh, yeah, they said not to say that. Shit. Okay. God damn it. So but that's, not, yeah, Bone Bone did get shaved the other day. Um, he, he looks great. He still looks good. Um, but he did get he did get shaved. Small kittens on fire. Six Jesus. months, five months in a row. Welcome back to the existence. That's true. As well, yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I gotta start moisturizing soon because I'm getting I'm getting that uh, that that fall winter dry skin shit. You know. Oh, you gotta moisturize. Not good. You know. Summer it was fine, but I'm feeling it already. I don't like it. Um, it's, time, it's time to moisturize. I have more naturally oily skin than I do dry skin. Um, but uh, but a while ago, uh, oh, uh, this sounds weird now that I'm saying it out loud. But a while ago, Zeke sent me some lotion. <laughs> <laughs> he sent it down into a well with a basket and. Um, <laughs> You know, I tried it out, and I thought it was great, and, um, but, uh, it's very good, and, uh, yeah. 
but it's too expensive. I'm not gonna buy it again. So I guess I'll just get like Jergens or something. I got some Keels lotion that I that I enjoy. And that shit's expensive too. It is. It is. But I, I like Keels. You know. I wanna. Uh, I've got I've got the Keels body wash. The shampoo is nice. It lasts a while. Well, uh, yeah. Irene called me up for being bougie. Um, but the Keel stuff is good. I uh, like it. The type of lotion I'm talking about is called Rose 31. Poop no, it's called Rose 31 by La by Le Labo. Oh, the Labo? Ooh, yeah. yeah, dude, that is okay. Yeah, I uh, I have some the Labo stuff, and uh, Irene got me some for my birthday, uh, and it is it's insane. It's so nice, but it's. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. That's when it's, I was complaining, I didn't have a scent. And it's, I it's a, a scent. It's a it's a level up from Keels. Yeah, so it's like three levels away from yeah. what I want to do. I need like Dove for Men or something. You know? Um, well, that's the got, perfume, guys. The lotion is what I'm talking about. You've got the Labo moisturizer, right? But I've I've got like a literally like a like a tenth of an ounce of lotion. I've got, I had the hair, like, styling concrete or whatever, which is very nice. I don't need concrete in my hair. I'm going to opt out of that right now. I can't handle yeah. that. You just need concrete when you, uh, when you want Going a nice, uh, yeah, there we go. I didn't think you'd be able to remember what the name of the place was. I, I wasn't going to. I was just going to say when you wanted, like, a sweet treat, just sort of a general. Yeah. Yeah. And did you dab on me for not remembering Culver's? Yeah, I did. Incredible. I don't know if that was dab worthy. Uh, not dab worthy. Seinfeld, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get. How do I type my name in? Because <laughs> you're, not, you're not playing the game yet. <laughs> okay, here it goes. What are you gonna name yourself? I thought Hooters Australia. But, oh. You can. Okay. Oh. Can you not do Hooters. I can't do Australia. <laughs> but Hooters is fine. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Little hack for you. Take out a couple letters and you got Austria. That's kind of a cool hack for Australia. This is like your equivalent of trying to do Thrill House and it's Thrill Ho. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that episode. No. Good reference, though. Hooters Austria. How about Hooters Guardian? Hmm. The, the, that's better, I think, right? The Hooters Guardian. We gotta have John on the stream just to explain the concept of the Hooters Guardian, right? Was it him or Mitch? I think it was John, and then I think Mitch became obsessed with it. And oh that doesn't gosh. seem like Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> Stefan, didn't you go to a Hooters when your cousin was here? Yeah, my cousin Emily, who's been on the stream a couple times, wanted to go to a Hooters. Oh. She'd never been to one. I'd never been to one either. We went to Hooters and Dave and Buster's in Hollywood, and it fucking rocked. It was fun. All that shit is actually fun. The food's not. It good, is. But all the food the is. The food is not the first of all the portions are like ridiculous outrageous yeah and part of that is is coming from canada to the the u.s the portion size there's a very very big difference um but uh chris no no advertising in the chat for real. ban him for real don't actually um, ban him. That will make don't it. don't ban him for, yeah he will kill us um but uh dave and busters is so much like have you been to dave and busters recently rob uh no if it's so i when i next time i'm in la can we go to dave and busters sure i love dave and busters i fucking love dave and busters i would not go to hollywood boulevard to identify a body <laughs> hey the sale man 18 months welcome back to the existence my friend dave and busters is so much fun very and very good twin peaks are there is there a fourth season of twin peaks coming out that people keep hinting at it is that gonna happen jesse do you know yeah, I'm checking the forums all the time, and it's okay. I don't I haven't heard anything yet. Um, it looks like Daniel Lynch is is really thinking about doing it again and bringing everybody back and rebooting okay. it. I think so. Re I regret uh, bringing that up. Um, this is your character here. This is Hooters Guardian. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Restaurant made me uncomfortable. Dave and Buster's or Hooters? Hooters. I remember the clientele. Was... Yeah. Well, 
the the, weird, the weird the weird thing to me at Hooters, I there weren't very many like creepy old men there that I could that I could see, but there were a lot of like families with like young mm. kids, and they were like well, taking pictures with the, like it, that was very strange. Well, you're not American, but and I am, and I yeah. felt I could just feel the sweethearts and the darlings. It was it was you could just feel them. In I'm the adjusting air. the overall yeah. balance of the physique. It says. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, oh. oh no. The uh the Dave and Buster's thing that Amen. I meant was uh oh, why not say that? How how fucking cheap the beer was. Yeah. Like it, unbelievable how cheap it was for like a huge beer. Um but the thing I remember is that is that my cousin my cousin M she got uh she got the rose like slushy. Yeah, dude. It was like an alcoholic slushy, and then like a little mini bottle of rosé like stuck at the top. Yeah, like a coronita. Yeah, it was like three dollars. Well, it probably wasn't that cheap. No, it was because we were there during some sort of like promotion. Oh, you were there in a happy hour? We were, yeah, we, we were there at like two in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, that's happy hour, Dave and Buster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy hour, Dave and Buster's is a great deal. I have to say. Have you been to Dave and Buster's, Jesse? Yeah, I have kids. Oh Lord. It's an, it's, they, they, they like the happy hour. I didn't know. Rosé. I didn't know kids were allowed there. It's the only arcade that exists anymore. I guess that's mm. true, huh? What about the mouse, Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese is like a daycare. That's Chuck like a e. really Cheese. weird vibe. Do they have arcade games, or is Chuck E. Cheese more like they have like skee ball? They have Chuck E. Cheese oh, has man. more like the the games. I mean, it's like a pizza parlor essentially. Right, yeah. Man, ski ball like if I if I ever fucking win the lottery, that's like on my list of, of shit I wanna have in my huge mansion is fucking ski ball. Do you play the lottery? No. I guess well, I should probably start doing that if I'm gonna if I wanna win it. Yeah. Kinda of, kinda of got it. Ski ball is so much fun. Yeah, Andy, pop a shot. I mean God, that's good. There's a there's a bar in Vancouver called the American. Um, and they have, uh, they have ski ball, they have like, like 10 that. pinball tables. Kind of. They have, they have pop a shot. They've got the football toss and it's so much, I love it. It's so much fun. I, they have a game that, uh, has all these buttons on the wall that light up and you gotta Can't get out press them as hit, they, as they pop up. Them. Yeah. yeah. It's sort uh, of like whack-a-mole, I, I guess, I'm really right? good at that game. Yeah. Yeah. Super good at it. You know what? You know which one I. So they, I feel like this is less of an arcade game and more of something that they have at like movie theaters. But the one where there's the lights moving across and you're trying to stack them. You know what I'm talking uh, about? It's like three okay. lights, three lights, three lights, then two, then two, then two, then one, one, one. Stacker, I think it's probably yeah, Mars. It's oh, called that Stacker. Yeah. Cool. Um, that I agree that shit is rigged because I've gotten to the top. To like the last one, several times, and of course they, it's rigged. They fuck you over when you get to the top. I can't get out of it, the titty menu. Don't call it that. That's what it oh, is. Are you, you're, are you at Hooters? Eat it, cause it. Okay. Anyway, Stacker is. Uh, yeah, Time Crisis. You, you know what? Under, call her that. Underrated, underrated arcade game. Uh, the Jurassic Park. The Lost World arcade game. The, it, it, you shoot dinos, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That game fucking rocks. That's I, a good game. I don't know what the fucking button is to get out. I can't get out of here. I Are want, you playing with a controller? Or, or I've got both. I'm plugged in everywhere. I can't. <laughs> I can't even just go. Can I just go back? There's nothing. <laughs> We're just going to be on the menu for an hour. Specifically, this <laughs> one part of the menu. <laughs> is this a bounty? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what, what okay. did I do? What did I do? Okay, I did it. I don't know what I did. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. T I mean, time crisis is 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 wonderful. You know what? Okay, speaking of, of video games starting with time, time splitters. That was a fun fucking game. That was fun. Yeah. That was a good game. That was a cool ass game. Um, you know what we have to play Jesse when uh, when it comes out uh, on PC is uh is the original halo 
We gotta do a we gotta do a co-op campaign. Right. We fucking have to do that. Cause I grew up with that game. That game kicks ass. I don't gotta do nothing but pay taxes and die. We're doing that. You don't have to pay taxes either. Well. You know. We'll do some we'll do some big Halo multiplayer games on on the stream. I'm let's get some Blood Gulch going. That was fun. pistols and snipers, man. Oh, Gotta Blood pee. Gulch is so good. Snipers and shotties. Yeah, Blood Gulch, and then what was the name of the snow level? It was pretty big, and it was sort of like horseshoe sh shaped. Yeah. You know, in the original Halo. Mm. Sex J, I don't think Jesse knows uh, that this game is like Dark Souls. Bad time, yes, Sidewinder. That's the one. So those are like the two best. Well, okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember here. I think the top three levels, uh, an original Halo multiplayer, Blood Gulch, Sidewinder, and then I want to say it was called like Boarding Party or something maybe, but it's where. I, maps. I'm sorry, Ridley, but I, I know maps. Uh, Battle Creek was good too, but with the two, boarding action, yes. Uh, with the two ships facing each other, that one was really fun. That was good for like sniping across. Yeah, Battle Creek was very good. God, I gotta play some Halo again. Hang 'em High. I mean, they were all good. Hang 'em High was really good. Hang 'em High was the one that had like the. The, I don't know what you would even call them. Like, just the, they were just sticking up out of the ground. You can kind of run between them. Okay, Mars, thank you. Let me, uh, let me look at these maps here. Hang them high, boarding action. What the fuck was Death Island? Was that on PC only? That was lost. Okay. Infinity... <sighs> Derelict was, yeah. Uh, Clayton Death, 21 months, four months in a row. Welcome back to the existence. Yeah, all the all the pillars on the ground. That was a really good one. Hang'em High was... Hang, you know what? I'm going to say Hang'em High above... I'm going to say Hang'em High second, actually. Pushing Sidewinder to third. Very tall man. Welcome to the existence. Thank you for subscribing so much with uh, with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Um, uh, newbie. So Get we've him. got... And then Halo 2, I'm trying to remember... Who do we have here? God, Blood Gulch is just like the awful waffle. Blood Gulch is perfect. Oh, yeah, Tom Pepper. That was Sidewinder was very big. Or easy. Eight months, six months in a row. Welcome back to the existence. Um. Okay, Halo Two. Lockout. Yeah. Hey, Stefan, yeah, I want to run this by you really quick. It says, Revenants possess special powers oh. known as okay. blood codes. Depending on okay. the specific blood code, a Revenant's stats will differ. To view these yep. stats, select the currently equipped blood code on the menu screen. Does that track for you? That tracks, yeah. Can we see this blood code? Mm -hmm. What's your What's your currently equipped blood code? Yeah, Zanzibar was very... Zanzibar was the one that had, like, the wheel going around, right? Like, with the platform on it? Okay, uh, I didn't get to say it because there was no space afterwards, but yeah. <clears throat> you said, I'm going to run this by you. Okay. And oh, here. Oh, yes. Here say. we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you taking the jog in Louisiana? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, that's that's that would have been sweet. It's pretty sharp. Graham, seventeen months. Graham, welcome back to the existence, my friend. Uh, old Chris, I'm gonna check right now because I I feel like it's I thought it was supposed to be this year that they come out, but let me see. Uh, Halo Remastered, I guess, on PC. Halo the Master Chief Collection on Steam. Coming soon. I actually don't know if there's a release date. I feel like they're releasing them one at a time, too. And I think it's in reverse chronological order, so it'll be um, Halo Reach first. Which I still want to play, but... Master Chief. Master Chief and Cortana. Or Cortana? Is it Cortana or Cortana? Wonder why they never made a movie out of that. I thought they were going to. Hello. How are you feeling? Probably had. Hey, who's your dream casting for that? Who's that? Cortana, I'm gonna say um Kristen Wiig. 
Okay. I was gonna say. Bill Hader, Master Chief. Uh, Master Chief, I'm gonna go with Gerard Depardieu. Hey, thanks for the sub. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think he's due. A, I think he's due a comeback. And for whatever the other thing is, uh, I'm gonna go with. Don't worry. You know what? It's okay. I don't remember either. Kristen yeah. Wiig. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I knew it. Puzzle mustard. Two I, months I, in I a row. Who the other character was? Welcome back I, to the existence. Yeah, this game who, is great. I can't wait to buy. Who's it. Cortana? Cortana is like uh, Siri uh, for Master Chief. She's like this blue uh, computer babe. Right. How you so, liking the game so far, Jesse? It's dope. Huh. <laughs> is that true, Apollo? That guy he played. Don't uh, mind, he don't mind. He don't mind. What else is that? Code Vein. Was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was also in The Wire. Uh, he was uh, Nikki Sabatka, and he was in Always Sunny as uh, in the Christmas episode. I hate when you talk about Ricky Falcon. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's Leaf Schreiber's brother, I think. Yeah. Ah, Leaf Schreiber from X Men Origins Wolverine. It's Liev. I think in Wolverine it's pronounced Liev. I think you should uh, leave Schreiber. Mm, oh, that's something. No. Oh, that is... I don't know that that's something. That's maybe you could have made your Twitter name that like eight months ago. Yeah. Gotten a couple chuckles, you know? I've been Mr. Doodoo Penis for like six months now. It's a good clip. Text. <laughs> oh. Very tall man said Megan Fox as uh, as Cortana. Yeah. You remember Megan Fox? I do remember Megan Fox. I do. So a lot of people are saying Lisa Ann as well. Who's Lisa Ann? Do you know who that is, Jesse? Does not ring a bell. No. <clears throat> she uh, did uh, the Sarah Palin porn. No, not uh, not ringing any bells. Have seen anything else? There is a spring that will cure that thirst. <laughs> uh, Christy Mack once, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I know she uh, she she had a thing where she uh, embarrassed uh, oh, Michael, shit. Michael Del Zotto, uh, NHL player, who was like this messaging, he was like DMing Lisa Ann being like, hey, can you like uh, hook me up with your porn star friends? And she was like, no, well, fuck yourself. And then she like posted all the DMs publicly. It's all right. He's he's very it's horny. Right. I don't know who that is. Michael Delzato? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, I know who Lisa Ann is. I feel like he's not in the NHL anymore. He was on he's on the Canucks and then on. Is he a pornography Canucks. star? He wanted to be, I think. No. Okay, what's going on in the in the? Can you just run us like what's going on in the game here, Jesse? I'll I'm just getting started, yeah. So what just happened there? Uh, I think somebody slaked their thirst. Now that looks like cum, sort of to me. Don't say that. Are we not allowed to say that on the? We can't say Kurt Code Vein. Right. We can't say when cum looks like cum. That's right. <gasps> oh right. Good code about porn. No, I think we can talk about porno. Porn, porn's fine. So what? Can you? What is? So that's blood, right, Jesse? Yeah, it's blood revenant. Here. Okay. And what's your blood code? Uh, like six. Uh. Looks like, yeah, it looks like that, yeah. It's six, yeah, okay. And are you able to skip the cutscenes? I don't think I should, really. Source of labor. I oh. kind of want to see you, I want to see you play the game, you know? Jared Goff stinks. He's a bum. It's time for a bit of fun. Isn't he the first overall pick? Uh, <laughs> I don't think.
think so. Something wrong with bums. Interesting. <laughs> Which one is your character, Jesse? I am one of the uh, game characters in the game. Okay. Whoa. Keep it down. All right. Okay. I'm 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 intrigued. I want to see what happens here. You know. Yeah. Jared Goff. Run D and B. No, not too late at all. In fact, right on time. Kudos. That's that's very good, Run D and B. Yeah. So what happened on the stream yesterday? Because I missed it. We had a sample rate thing. Oh, you were at Costco again. Damn it! <laughs> There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. Code vein. The missiles all dried up, and the miasma keeps. Okay, now you're, so you're moving around. Now you're talking. You think Batman shows up? This does seem sort of like a Batman thing here, right? No, the Joker movie. No, I think it's just the Joker. No. Oh. Hmm. That's a bummer. I'm pretty sure it's just the Joker. Or maybe oh does he show up as like a kid maybe? But because of their levy, we have to risk Oh that that'd be cool. That'd be funny if like the Joker killed Bruce Wayne's parents. <laughs> it pissed off all of the comic book fans. That'd be really funny. I just have, it's I just have no desire to see that movie at all. Like it just doesn't seem Let her sleep. I, like the folks upstairs won't doesn't seem good, you know? Don't you Not... like Mr. Phoenix? Sure, but, you know, I don't think it's... I'll probably watch it when it's on Netflix in like two years or whatever, but... This one's dry. And my asthma's pretty thick. Just the whole, I, like... I mean, out of time before the next Scott Ackerman sort of Everything's destroyed ready. the Joker forever, basically, with, with those tweets, right? <laughs> those were funny, but... Not necessarily. Like I think he kind of did though, right? Yeah. Like Dark Knight is still one of the best fucking movies ever. How can you how can you take the Joker seriously? You know? I don't know. It's just not uh Yeah, I'm good at legitimately I muted the term Joker cuz every fucking every other post on the timeline was about the Joker. Yes, very good. Yeah, and that's why Twitch is such a nice escape. Yeah. <laughs> You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. Or uh, what other movies are out? I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give. Them. I mean, you don't you don't have we to don't go see a movie though. Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Then why did I get new glasses? Well, but you don't have the new glasses yet, right? Don't and please don't put them on your neck this time. Don't ask me. You're not going to not going to levy right? system with Silva's I'm just going to wear them on my face. That's yeah, that's the thing to do. I'm going to go to let's see what we got here. We've got You like go first. Get to work. Uh of course I want to see Joker. Looks cool. <laughs> Don't. There's a better time and place. For now we just have to hmm. obey. Next. Whoa, Ooh, Jesse. You These people look bad. The you look—they look like bad guys. They look because of the masks, I think, right? You I think everyone's In wearing masks. For any blood yeah. beads you find, of course. Chris, how's it going? Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here Just, lately. He's not going to answer us, so I guess. Make sure okay. you don't all get killed. Is this another fucking cutscene? Can you fucking relax? I'm just getting pissed off here. Um, uh, damn, I can't think of the movie. Fucking cutscene. You okay? It looks like we can't get back up. Oh, uh, Jackass when Steve does we'll the paper cuts. For another yeah, way back. Right. Oh, I'm Right. That's over. good, actually. I skip that every time. That's the worst. I've never I mean, seen that since the first time I saw it. I I feel I feel like and I and I feel I, I've said this so many times. We have we have the discussion about like worst and best Jackass. Uh, bits. Mm. Like before, right. hey, before we stray too far, I, I want to go back yeah. really quickly. Is that scene only in the uh, like extended? 1.5 or yeah. whatever? Is no, that only... it's in the first Jackass. I think it's in the it's the in the paper first cut movie. Yeah. Scene yeah. Okay. Is in the no, no, first no. Jackass movie. Because well, I was hoping think... it was in the extended cut because then it would be a cut cut scene. I 
I was kind of hoping just yeah that's that's well no but i feel like maybe you know. in the extended version they add like i think in the movie he only does the cut he does the cut I, here the on the on the and the the webbing of his fingers which is yep. awful and then doesn't he do the corner of his mouth yes. Steve-O does which his never mouth. heals but then I feel like there was like a third one that was only in one and a half where it was like his eye or some shit. Wasn't yeah, it? he does Didn't his he? eyelid. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that was maybe in the extended uh, fire for anime. 18 months. Welcome back to the ad systems. Good to the see unrated, you. Unrated maybe. Yeah, yeah I think it. so. Right? I feel like they did more paper cut stuff. A dead lost. I've never seen one I could be wrong. Uh, Sorry, you were saying no. you're the le your least favorite or your har the hardest. No, that's watch. that's. I think it's everyone's least favorite. Yeah, no, I mean we we, we talk about this uh, legitimately once a month, maybe once every two weeks. But least favorite, anything like like paper cuts, stuff like that. The puking stuff is not good to me either. That one's pretty the bad. The the sh the uh, the hook through the cheek uh, to go shark. Was that in the show though? No, that was in Jackass Two, Number I think. Two. Okay, that was really hard to watch. And there's like the Mako shark or whatever is, uh, yeah, that one's nuts. The uh, one's the, the other really hard one to watch for me is uh, when they drink Preston Lacey's sweat. Yeah, the sweatsuit, Panic Weird. Yeah, that's that one is not good. The sweatsuit is. And uh, just... the one where he gets um, uh, thrown up in the air on a bungee cord in the port With potty is really bad too. The and honestly, the, the poop stuff is not horrible to me, and the, even the horse cum drinking is not that bad. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it's the it's the sweat and the to and... stay out of the clip really. Wow. <laughs> the horse come one is not the horse come one is very funny. You know what you know which one is bad is when three six mafia yep makes him eat the horse shit and it's so dry and you can see how <laughs> dry so it is. Dry. But then when the when the MGD goes in his mouth and it foams around oh, the dry the, the foaminess dry mixed shit, with yeah. the shit is so bad. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> that, was, that was Dave England, right? And they're yes. just like, they're just like screaming at him. Ooh, turn on the uh, Jackass number two DVD commentary for that if you want to cancel Johnny Knoxville anytime soon. Oh no! Oh, I don't even. Oh no! Whoa! Oh, here you go. Here you go. So you're actually fighting now. Oh shit! That was what the hell just sick. happened? I was, that was my move. That was fucking cool. That was pretty cool. I like that. God damn. Okay. Oh my god, look at this insane combo. So I, this could be, I think you might like this game. That was cool. I'll never be able to remember all those buttons, but. No. That was cool. You have to remember that shit? I mean, it, it went off the screen, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I saw it very briefly up there. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think we've covered all the really bad. Uh, well, I was gonna say the the porta potty one is not just bad because of the poop, but to me, I have I'm very sensitive to motion, so. Also, because the... Stevo is like like explicitly like sober for that one. Is that right? Yeah, that was Jackass Three. It was like a it was a dry set, and he was totally sober. I so I think it's one thing if he's just like off his rocker or whatever doing that. But... But he was like, he was completely sober doing the the turd rocket thing or whatever. Yeah. Is there something God there? damn. Will that come in handy? You ever watched like the Stevo? I feel like there was like a Stevo documentary or something where he paid someone to piss on him was one of them, and he yeah, would just all these he would just videos. jump he would just jump into ceiling fans. He set up. He set up a little mini trampoline in his apartment, mm -hmm. and just jumped into his ceiling fan while it was on. Yeah, and it was completely out of his mind. God damn. Yeah, yeah. That's the one, Timonic. Yeah. Hell of a show. I think maybe I'd say maybe a top five jackass bit. Maybe just for the setup, is uh, is the the bungee off the bridge. With Wee Man and Preston. Oh man, right, Bam's. Like, yeah. The setup is very funny, and then when when Wee Man like freezes in the air for like two seconds. So Thank you, Bite Spare. I will give those to Bomba. No, you won't. I will. Yeah, Bloodworms. I think that might be number one for me. Is the big hand. 
And uh, the same sort of idea for a, for a sketch was uh, the boxing glove coming out of the like the Valentine on the wall. Uh, that one's really good too. Dear but I think jackass I, guys. Yeah, and the and the fun, the the it gets smaller and smaller, and they have to like lean in to look at it. And then when Wee Man's on the chair reading it. <laughs> Alley oop. That's an that's a very underrated one. I think is when they have the the jet engine going and they're just like throwing shit in front of it. They throw the football in front of it and it yeah. goes like it goes like a mile and a half. It's a great physical comedy piece. Yeah. God damn. The pubes. Yeah. Aaron McGahee getting the pubes glued to his face just for the amount of effort that went into that sketch. Like the levels on that sketch. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Rob. I, 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 have, I have a bunch, yeah. No, uh, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, but, Butterbean, yeah. Butterbean is... Yeah, for, for Johnny Knoxville's line, after getting knocked out by Butterbean, is Butterbean okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the bees the bees in the limo, because they have the ball bearings outside the limo, right? They, they run outside the limo, getting stung by bees, and then and then slip on the ball bearings. Uh, the Dave England one where he's riding the fire hose as, as well is very good. Dave England, I think, is my favorite jackass guy. Sure, mm -hmm. I can wait. I love Dave England. He got us a cameo on one of our Block Party cameo episodes, too. Very nice guy. Well, you, you gave him money to be nice. Yeah, but, Rob, as someone who's very, very familiar with cameo, giving them money does not guarantee they will be nice to you or even do what you're asking, so... It, he was he's he's good at cameo. He looked like he was enjoying himself mm. There are definitely who was it uh, Jesse who Brendel posted Was it a boxer? Oh, like a yeah, guy? yeah oh. uh... What color was it? <laughs> there's a there's it's a Brindle. UFC guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's the color. Of the there's a UFC guy who I gotta look up who it was it was a, it was a boxer or a UFC guy um who so on when you go to when you go to someone's cameo page it has their like here's my introductory cameo like hey cameo like order a video for me blah blah, blah. like i'm happy to be on this website and it was like three seconds long of like a tree yeah and it was very clearly uploaded by mistake and it is still up there <laughs> So, who, who did this? I gotta Dave find England? this. No, 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 no. I'm gonna find this right now. Let's see. Whoa, something's above us. Ugh, look at Bren that. Brendel might be watching right now, so. There's a video of. Uh, I had a cameo before cameos. <laughs> Let me see really? if I can find it. Okay. Yes. The Sailman, that's uh, the Stroop Waffle McFlurry. And he farts about like what, like a minute and a half in, Jesse? God, you don't have to share that one. I feel bad for that one. I mean, that one is just, God. I feel like I should delete the video somehow. You I, should, I yeah. I want to be able to delete the video because it's. Just... The other thing with with Joey is I didn't notice this until like a couple weeks ago, but his comments. Um, yeah, Zarbites, he left it in exactly. He knew it was well, gonna happen. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily true. But the comments are ridiculous. It's just hundreds of people saying like. Hey, uh, you know, uh, reporting for duty, the, the Joey seat sniffing crew. And Joey will like, like those posts, yeah. you know? And when he yeah. likes them, they, they show up more. Like, it's just, ah, oh, Joey. He's kind of in, I mean, mm. you know. He's not, he's not, like, he doesn't get it. I, don't think. I think he does. You think so? He does, yeah, but it's more like, it's more like smiling through the tears kind of thing. I think you're, yeah, I think you might be right. Like, he's just like, well, I, I might as well just embrace this. Well, right? if you if you go and watch his live streams, uh, which, I don't know, maybe somebody has. Uh, it was it, uh, it was Riddick Bo? Yeah. Can we pull that up? I mean, I know we're doing a, a thing. If you guys go look at Riddick Bo on Cameo, his introductory Cameo right now is just... Like a, a picture of it's like a three second video of like a plant. Oh, let me see if I can find. They pass it. us earlier. 
Cameo is is the funniest thing that's been added to the internet in the last like three years. Uh oh. Huh. What's up? Quiet. Weird. What's up? We're getting attacked. Uh, who? Oh no. Ah! Oh! I sneezed. Sorry. Was that a sneeze? Huh? <laughs> that was so loud. Could have gone better. You just scared the hell out of everyone in the chat. You scared me too. I tried Good to lord. I didn't flinch. <laughs> Don't worry about Wow. That was terrifying. Good lord. You just focus on Yeah, that was like my that, that's how my dad sneezes. Girl is waiting for you. We just get to a certain age you just don't care anymore. My dad just like screams. Well, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> oh, shit. I'm doing a normal sneeze like a regular person. What? Like you like a chew. As you want. I, I, I have a regular sneeze. My dad. My, here, here's legitimately how my dad sneezes. Ah, who? And he says who? And I love it. Don't get me wrong. That's a dad sneeze. So you just want like an anime sneeze, like ah, too. That's what you want, yeah. me? Yeah. And the, the little tear appears on your forehead. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Man. I'm a grown man. Okay, I think, okay, Riddick Bo has changed his, okay, he changed his intro video. It's actually him doing the introduction now. That's a shame. I can't find it, but uh, I had a cameo from, uh, you know who Cappadonna is from Wu-Tang Clan? Okay. Well, Cappadonna came to uh, North Kentucky University to give a, like a TED talk of sorts. Okay. And I was gonna go, but I couldn't. I had to fucking work. So, uh, my friend who did get to go uh, ran into Capadonna afterwards and like had him record a essentially a cameo for me. Oh shit! Tell and he's like, "Yo, fuck, fuck your job, man. You can come on tour with me." I'll take care of you. Fuck Walmart. <laughs> that so rocks. Somewhere there's a video of Capadonna promising me I can go on tour with Wu Tang Clan. That rules. And That's I need cool. to find it. <laughs> and you got it for this, free this, too. This was like this was like six or seven years ago. Yeah, damn, that rules. Tim Dexter, 20 months. Welcome back to the edge. Oh shit. shit. Yeah. Oh, this guy's this guy's. Oh boy, this guy's big. Uh, yeah. This game looks pretty cool, to be honest. I don't know. I need to figure out how to do other stuff besides get killed. Yeah, because you kind—you of, seem you're you have one attack move and and you kind of block as well. Capadonna is number ten. You got this guy, Jesse. Master Killer is number nine. Oh my God! Yeah, is, is there a dodge button? Is there a board? Uh, oh shit! There is a dodge button. Yeah, and does it okay. have a hemi in it? Ooh, I was gonna say it looks like you're getting out of it. What's that? Dodge. Up, up, yeah. up, up. <clears throat> ah <-ho! laughs> uh, Mars, I did not know that. Worse. I didn't know that was a command. What was that added for? Was that for Cuphead, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Desert <laughs> Ozil, ten months. Welcome back did... to the existence, my friend. How do you think his head got that way? The cup? Yeah. I think it was a punishment from God. Yeah. It must have been something unspeakable. I think so. Yeah. Jesse, did you buy NHL yet, or do you still have the 10 hour uh, uh, trial? I didn't buy it. Okay. Okay. You Are you going to buy it, do you think? Guess we'll see if I go through this uh, ten-hour trial. <laughs> Cause you see, you were getting better at it. I was I, having fun playing with you. I was having fun, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Like we played a lot of FIFA last year. I kind of want to play a lot of NHL this year too, you know. And I do sort of want to get into NBA 2K as well. And you're already better than me at, at 2K, so that game's hard. It is. It is. It's tough. It's like, yeah, shit. Uh, I couldn't. It, 
I want to get into NBA too, okay? Okay. So it's okay. Kind of, I, I was yeah. trying to figure out no. something to do with that. No, you're right. I, I think you, I think you landed it. I think you got it. <sighs> ah. Oh, well, right Timothy, now. Timothy OnlyFans, trying for the roast on Bloviated for for spelling heights wrong. Spelling heights even wronger. Oh boy. I hate to see it. <clears throat> Have you guys uh, caught up on Righteous Gemstones? Nope. It's so good. I it's seen so it. fucking. Good. You will like it, Jesse. Rob, I, you've watched at least, you've watched a few of them, right? I saw the pickle I'm, in my mouth song. Yeah, great song. I'm, uh, I'm behind like three episodes, I think. Okay, you got some good stuff. It's I love it. It's am wonderful. I, am I going the right way? Walton Goggins. Nope. I uh, fell. A king, a king among men. I gotta finish watching Vice Principals too. Oh, did you just fall off the? Vice okay. Principals is yeah. awesome. I watched the first season. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta finish that. It was the perfect number of seasons. Two. Misbehaving is is the best song of all time. I think it's so good. It's incredible. Yeah, very tall man. It's it's the new Jody Hill, Danny McBride show. From just watching very, very that funny. one video, I was trying to. I was trying to figure out why John Goodman was playing a little bit like jealous or whatever. But not having seen the show, I don't have the context for why he uh, did it that way. Did you watch okay, so you watched the second clip where it's his daughter singing it, right? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, so that was the most recent episode or second most recent episode where his daughter is singing it. And it's kinda like he's not he he's never like let her actually do anything with the family or anything, and then, you know, she sings and he's like, ah. Oh. Oh, interesting. But it's uh, it's so funny, and John Goodman's amazing. Walton, Walton Goggins, I yeah, not to spoil it, you know, Walton Goggins is just uh, uh, unbelievable. He's so good. I mean, everyone's fucking good in it. Seriously, like Danny McBride's little like uh, group of friends. They're so fucking funny. Keith is really good too. That's my favorite thing on TV right now. Yeah, I don't care for Adam Devine either. I'm not a Everything huge fan of his, is... but he he's he's good in this, I think. I'm not a big fan of his, but I, I feel like I could be him in a different world, you know? Like a different a different life, I think I could be that guy. Is he the is he that little is he that little guy from Yeah. Yeah, uh, yes. I think I could be him. He's not, yeah, he's exactly Tain, Tain Enthusiast. He's not as Adam Deviney in this. And and the character he plays is like very, it it it, it fits. Him. Why is it a freaking small T-shirt? Nothing wrong with these. He's probably bigger than I. Am. Although no, celebrities are always no, smaller than you think, right? Well, so yeah, because I Rob Rob McElhinney, I. Uh, I uh, went to the talk last night, and then um, we got to uh, briefly talk to him afterwards and, and take a photo with him from, from my work. Wow, uh, what was that like? He's, he's very nice, but he's like he's like my height or maybe slightly shorter even. He reads as like 6'1", 6'2". He, he reads as fucking massive. I mean, he's like super jacked. Yeah. But, but he's like yeah. my height or maybe a little bit smaller. It's because he's hanging out with Danny DeVito. I guess that is, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, um, yeah, he, uh, he's, he's like my height. And like some of my coworkers was like, oh, he's like, he's, he's so small. And I was like, well, he's like a nor he's a normal height. Yeah. He's not, he's not small. He's like a normal, he's a regular normal height. He's not, I wouldn't say he's tiny or small. He's is Kendrick Lamar height. really five, six? Wow. I, yeah. Andy, is that true? But Ch Chuck Todd is not five you foot could, two. You could hear it on Mad City. How tall is Chuck Todd? Are you fucking serious? I'm sorry, Chuck Todd's how tall? No. That's funny. What? Are you serious? That's, I do. And, and, he, and he has, and he has, and he has that haircut? 
That guy's got a lot of stuff going on. I don't. <laughs> our friend, our friend Sex J recently got the Chuck Todd haircut, like ironic. And Sex Chuck Todd just like has that haircut. It'd be funny finding out any news anchor is short, because like they're sitting down and we can never tell. Right. But but Chuck Todd being five, that is so funny. Oh my god, that's real. I mean, everyone knows like what well, Tom Cruise is what like five four. <laughs> right? It's not that drastic, is it? He's five four or five five, I think, isn't he? I don't know. I'm I'm like five nine and a half, which is like average size, I guess. You're taller than that, I think. I'm your height, aren't I? I'm five ten and three quarters. Oh, so I'm a little shorter than you then. Six feet tall. Magic number. Yeah. Unless it's gone up, I don't know. Is six Trimble the magic one now? For me. Tom huh? Cruise is five seven. Five seven seems too much for Tom Cruise. Yeah, Rob is Rob is six feet. Chris, I think, is like six one or six two. Is Bing Rames really small? No, don't ruin this for me. Bing Rames is a big dude. Is he small? Come on. Because he's next to Tom Cruise. He's taller than Tom Cruise, though, right? He, he, like, towers over him, doesn't he? I don't know. By how much? Oh, this is fucking with me. Good night, Tory Crews. Oh, crap. These guys are whipping my ass. Hey, speaking of, speaking of short, Tory Krug. NHL player Tory Krug is quite short. Really? Yeah. Travolta, I could see. Yeah, 6'2 for Travolta makes sense. Oh, uh, Ron Perlman is much shorter than I... No, 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 he's no, no. no, he's only he's six one. Oh, okay. Still, but he's I, okay. I, I, I thought you meant he was like seven feet tall. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was like six six or something, but okay, he's still above six feet. Okay. Um, I'm pretty blessed. Of... Sp speaking of John Travolta, we are recording a bonus episode this weekend with the Street Fight guys, where we watch the uh, we're going to be watching and discussing the new John Travolta Fred Durst movie. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Nice. I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it tonight, actually. Jonah Hill is short. I could, shortish. I could, I could see that. No, he's about your height. Okay, that's so normal. Fart Hammer. That's Fart Hammer is maybe. I love Fart Hammer. Fart Hammer is maybe the biggest liar in the entire channel. Unbelievable. So Tech I feel liar, like. Too. Yeah, but that's kind of his whole bit. I guess it's Fart Hammer's bit too. Fart Hammer, Jason Statham is not five foot four. <laughs> there's there's really no funny. fucking way. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Thank you, Banzar. Yeah, I've uh, Thank you, I've been there as well, having to have those conversations. Yes. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. <laughs> Fart Hammer says, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is six foot seven. <laughs> <laughs> is, okay, I'm looking up Jason Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders was the principal in Matilda, I think. <laughs> That's trauma. Uh, no, she was the... Uh, Trunch board. She, 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 she was the wardrobe that Matilda got locked inside. Lord have mercy. The the chokey. The chokey, yeah. Oh my goodness, you're not gonna believe this. Kevin Hart. Seven feet tall. Six feet eleven. Five four. <clears throat> Ooh, Seth Green five four as well. Wow. Michael J. Fox also five four. As is Charlie Chaplin. Well, not anymore. Martin Scorsese, <laughs> five foot three. Really? What? Yeah, I did not know that. Actually, I can see that. He does seem like a small guy. That's very Dan small. I didn't know that. Danny DeVito, four foot ten. Love and DeVito. he's the smallest person on this list. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Jason Statham is five foot eight. He's shorter than me. That is that is very surprising. Yeah, wow, you could kick his guy. ass. So. <laughs> I love the idea of if you're taller than someone, even if it's like a quarter of an inch. You could 
beat their ass off. You can beat their ass, yeah. I don't don't say beat their ass off. That was an old wise tale for many centuries. And they would have uh they would have fights. Wives <laughs> love having fights, that's for sure. Elron Francis says Vern Troyer was six foot one. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. He originally tried out for Doctor Evil. The uh, the, the the picture of Ventura eating the subway sandwich that was actually a party scene. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you guys are lying about like Spring Break My Heart says Charles Barkley's five foot eight. They're all lies. I, I feel like maybe that's not true. Timbonic, I can see that. Army Hammer seems like a tall dude. Bob Saget, yeah, I could see it. Like, he, he strikes me as tall. He seems like a big yeah. guy, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna Google short celebrities. I, I did. It's, it's not a lot. Oops. Ulysses S. Grant wasn't as big as you think. See, I thought that guy was super tall. Ooh, Steven Spielberg, 5'7. 18 celebrities you didn't know were really short. Well, the guy from uh, Game of Thrones, Jon Snow, isn't, oh, he like, okay. isn't, he, isn't he like four feet tall? Is he small? He's tiny, I think. Bruno Mars is very small. I see it, right? Yeah, Bruno Mars is a baby guy. You say Bruno Mars? Yeah. There's the Mars. picture of Bruno Mars next to Taylor Swift, right? Which I don't know, if, is that... That's funny, though. Is that photoshopped or is that a real picture? I don't know, it's really funny. Robin Williams was 5'7". Oh, okay. All right. Okay, who else? As uh, as was MLK. Well, how did he... Uh, did he have to... He had to stand on a stool to nail the, the his thesis to the door of the church. Jesus. And I think that's the perfect joke. I mean, it's funny... Wait, is that a... Are you alluding to Robin Williams' suicide? Jesus. No. Oh. What are you with the stool? Oh, okay. God, no! Oh, no. Fucking okay. Christ. I'm gonna, I gotta look yeah, up. I was, yeah, I was thinking it too. Prince was five foot two. Prince was five foot two. Oh, that's good. Art money, yeah. Stefan is like Martin Luther's church door. Unhinged. Mm, okay. Unhinged. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I yeah. see what you, yeah. Yeah. The, that MLK. Isaac Newton, 5'6. Died a virgin. Isn't that something? Do you think someone sucked him off, though, maybe? Wow. Okay. That man was... He invented uh, apples or whatever, right? He invented gravity. I I feel like... I feel like Isaac Newton... I think he had sex. Hmm. How do they know? How do they know he died a virgin? He probably his, his wrote about had, it. The skeleton had all its cum in, in the cum storage bones oh, or whatever? Oh my goodness. I'm not helping you guys get out of this. I'm not trying to get out of this. I'm trying to dig deeper. Well, you're going to eventually dig up. And I'm not going to help. I don't think you understand the gravity I of believe, the situation. I believe there's a theory that when you have sex, one of your balls comes out and you only get to do it twice. So maybe that was it? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot where I heard that, but... I, I think you're right. Uh, maybe? This is funny. So I'm on the 18 celebrities you didn't know were short, and Dustin Hoffman is on here. I knew that guy was fucking short. Yeah, short-tempered, maybe. Bruno Mars is on here. I knew that, too. Get out of here. Look at this shit. Napoleon Bonaparte. Five foot six. Well, that's not that fucking short. For us to call that a Napoleon complex. Well, I also feel like back then, isn't that like the average height? 
Genghis Khan was five one, and he was yeah. a much bigger asshole. <laughs> well, well Spenty, yeah, like I feel like five six back then was like that's like the average height or like tall back then. Right? Did you quit the game, Jesse? Yeah. Paul I'm, Simon, I'm... five three. Wow. Yeah. He's actually he's actually taller because he has diamonds on the soles of his shoes. I get that one. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah. call him tall. Oh, okay. Jesse, your turn. No. Okay. That's but that's both of the Paul Simon songs. Yeah, I think we got it. <laughs> oh, is that uh, Andy? Is that what it is? Okay, so Napoleon had very tall bodyguards, so he looked short in comparison to them. Hmm. Okay. Sound like a real interesting, real asshole to me, Napoleon. <clears throat> so what happened? Do you quit the game, Jesse? What happened? Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> By the way, have we 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 need to add the Joey emote. We got to get the Joey emote in here. It has to happen. We. I mean you. You gotta put it in there for next week. In fact, that's my project for the weekend. Is I'm gonna get a bunch of new emotes in here. We're gonna make it happen. Oh my let's God. sit. Let's sit down. Let's, let's let's hop on a call together. Look at the stinking Go. chat. No, I'm busy this weekend. I'm not doing anything. Oh, he's in. Thank you, Great Cactus Jack, for showing me that. We got Joey. We got the Joey emote. Yeah, the Cobra one I got. I, I'm cooking that Cobra one, too. How was Josie? He was six foot one. Kid Rock is eight feet tall. I'm the J-O-E to the C. Call me Josie. Got Three nine. Oh, How, okay. jo Josie is dead. Oh, right. See ya. How did Josie die? Uh, probably from celiac disease. Okay. I'm not going to say what I think. I heard that he 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 fell down in two inches of water in his bathtub. Disrespectful to the memory of the deceased. I feel. Oh, you! I know you have something loaded in the chamber, Jesse. What is it? I don't have anything. I, I, you know, look, he passed on. Death yeah, he pa for us. yeah, yeah, he, he passed on the role of uh, Mini Me in the Austin Powers movie. And he never told us what the C meant. Just to know this, the mythology surrounding him. What does it mean? What does the C stand oh, for? Oh, Kaleja. Got it. <laughs> there it is. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, we we've, we've cracked the case. Right. Okay. Uh. <laughs> call me Josie. Got more game than Coleco. I'm a freak. No, call me sick. Three foot nine with a ten foot. <laughs> well, you can guess what the yeah. next lyric is there. Panic, no joke, I almost said that 30 seconds ago. Joe C and the Pussycats. It's very good. Yeah, Bloviated, and he's also from Great Hearts movie. Unknown. It is a good movie. Undertaker's huge, isn't he? So misunderstood, that movie. Undertaker's, like, super tall, right? Kane is really big, too, right? Yes. Yeah. Jesse, what are you going to say about Joe C? Nothing. Come on. No, that's fine. Well, that was code vein. It said, "Don't worry, it's you can die a lot," but it didn't happen to me, so I don't really know who that's for. Probably people who are not Kurt, very good. Kurt, at Kurt, Code so. Vein, Kurt, Code Vein. Get one more of those in. Kurt, Code Vein. Yeah, 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 yeah. So check that out. Now uh, done with that. Now it's time to go to bed. So.
And we're gonna, I'm we are gonna, gonna go to raid our friend. Okay, Mars has a long neck, I think, here. Uh, oh my god. Whoa, no, 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 no. No way. Wait, let me click it. No way, Mars. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I see this guy. <laughs> I've seen him too, but that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? A Republican stomper, <laughs> 20 months, 19 months in a row. Welcome back to the Ed system. Wow. Okay, I'm going to find another source on that. Violence on the left. Someone tipped him over into his water glass, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, uh, stay tuned for Chris. You guys ever notice that every right-wing person is just like a fucking circus freak? <laughs> yeah. They all look awful. Just yeah. horrible looking people. Yeah. Just monsters. So. Enjoy uh, Chris's stream, everyone. No prank radio. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Go off, kids. It's you again. So, my name is Rob, my main man, Stefan. We got the homie Jesse here to keep the fans guessing. Alert the damn press, kid. We got the transgressive comedy so hot that it should come with transgressing. So, get those bits ready. Keep those roast hands handy. I'm about to drop bars like Roseanne's family. Holy fucking crap, I didn't know the rock correct. Damn, we got a fire emoji going in the chat, fam. Hallelujah. Bless this Twitch stream. Don't fall for other gamers. Get rich quick schemes. No comparison. Every other show's embarrassing. Where's we all going? They're the Netflix kids stream. We got big names like Dog Boner and Chris James. And they are not so. Smokers. I alone consume more grass than a lawnmower. Roll call. Jesse Farrar. Undoubtedly the king's sexiest star. His liver ain't kicking yet. Still he stays sipping. Come get dogs on by Twitter. Slate Griffin. Up next, me, Rob Wisman. Looking to the future like precognition. <clears throat> he is so soft. Get that man a Zola. Sir, stand back, please. He's, He's about, about to go off. And Stefan is from Canada.